authenticity of Murphy. Not really. It kind of does. Well, just a self-perpetuating kind of self-running kind of thing here. I don't, I don't know. It's I a mean, self-fulfilling prophecy anyway, so it kind of works. Yeah, well, Murphy's Law uh, has, has not failed you so far today. That's why it's not predictable. <laughs> is it? Because if, according to the meme there, it says, if Murphy's Law implies that anything that can go wrong will go wrong, does that imply that Murphy's law will go wrong? Yeah, and that is the, that 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 is very very true. But you don't know in which way it's going to go wrong. <laughs> he could have had something planned for you that was epically bad, and well, instead, it's either worse or better than what he had planned for you. Yeah, I don't subscribe don't, no? to that. Okay, no, well. no. All hail Murphy! Pay no attention to the unbelievers. <laughs> I know Murphy exists. <laughs> I'm just no. he exists. He's my he's my pocket fairy. I worked with her. Yeah. yeah. Oh <laughs> <laughs> what is that, like Murphy <laughs> Brown or something? No, no. <laughs> Some people have an angel and a devil on their shoulders, and you've just got two Murphys. Yeah, I think you've got two of them. Yeah, and they're both poking me in the ears going, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. No, no, I, I used to work, um, I used to work uh, at a company down in the valley, mm -hmm. and my boss's last name was Murphy, and we just, we would have fun with with her last name and Mondays. Was she like a walking and disaster? No, she embraced it as well. See, you have to so embrace the Murphy. Right, oh, you don't have Murphy. to fail Murphy. No. <laughs> well, that's fun. <laughs> Nobody likes the Murphy but me. You don't I like don't. the Murphy. I'm trying to appease the great Murphy. Murphy, that is all. <laughs> because you don't like what Murphy does. <laughs> exactly, I'm, I'm trying to make things better. Speaking of Murphy... If you guys didn't catch, over the weekend, we made a road trip down oh, south. Gosh. Yes, we, we made a road trip down south, uh, Lois and I, and, well, things were going rather well for quite some time, and then as we passed the turnoff to go to Tuba City, our check engine light came on. And normally, normally, eh, it's just a check engine light. Just let that thing shine. However, not so long ago... On the same road trip, going to the same location, our check engine light came on and, uh, well, the bearing for the water pump seized up, which caused the water pump to explode and throw the belt for yes. the engine. Yes. So, uh, you know, we had to pull over, we had to check it and make sure that nothing was going on. We couldn't find anything wrong, but it was still kind of nerve-wracking because, you know, for those of you that don't know, the, uh, the uh, LPNN uh, news vehicle has 211,000 miles on it. Besides that. For those of you who don't know, Tuba City, or the turnoff for Tuba City, is truly in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> well, no. And that's actually 30 miles north, northeast of us. But What we did. You, I, I realize this. <laughs> but it's there are no cities that are close. 
So if something major did happen, it mm-hmm. would have been about a five hundred dollar tow tow fee. At least, at least, yes, definitely. <laughs> so yes, for those of you who don't mm-hmm. know, it is there's nothing there. It's like being. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Stuck, Stranded. Well, stuck in, in like, uh, Death Valley, <laughs> where you have nothing anywhere near you. <laughs> Mario says, happy Monday. Happy Murphy Monday, Mario. Thanks for watching. <laughs> so, sorry, did not mean to interject, oh, no, so, but we do have a lot of viewers that yeah, are not, th- th- not familiar from... with exactly where that is. Yes. yes. So, we're out in the middle of nowhere. We pull over because we're like, oh, man, the last time this happened, oh, it was bad. So I get out, and I'm looking. The belt's intact. There's no strange noises. The RPM of the engine seems to be okay. Don't notice any major leaks. Nothing has exploded yet. Everything seems to be okay. So we try and reset the computer. Maybe it's just a computer having a, you know, one of, maybe it's a Murphy day for the computer. Oh. That's it. Oh, so Lisa oh. says, we saw oh. you guys. <laughs> so sorry we didn't stop. We thought you were stopping for a news reason. Oh. No, no, we were hosed. <laughs> Yes, thank you very much. And Christine says, Happy Murphy Monday. See, someone embraces the Murphy. Happy Murphy Monday. Oh, hail Murphy. I don't think, she, I don't think Christine Oh, hail Murphy. Murphy. <laughs> Christine, you're encouraging him. <laughs> no. We're going to have a cult of Murphy followers. No. <laughs> so anyway, back to the car story here. <clears throat> Everything appears to be okay, but the computer won't reset. So it's like, well... We're going to go ahead and give it a shot. We've got to go all the way down to Cottonwood, which is south of Flagstaff to Clarkston. <laughs> oh, you were still in the car, so we thought it was... <laughs> That's probably we just pulled over and then yeah, they just probably. passed us. Either that or I was trying to reset the computer. Could be. So either way, it's all good. We, yes. we do appreciate you noticing us there. Perhaps on your way back, if we would have been laying on the side of the road dead, we you know. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> Wow, holy crow. No, no. Way to make her feel guilty. Ah, she's, we, we always have survival stuff in yes, the vehicle. We always carry yes, plenty yeah. of water. We've got a survival kit just in case something yeah. bad like that does happen. Yeah. So it, it's all good. Um, you know, and, and she's right. We could have been stopping for a news reason. Yeah, we could. So, yeah. so, uh, <clears throat> so anyway, all these things happen. We're like, well, we're going to go ahead and just try it and see what happens. And um, as we go up steep inclines and stuff, we get this horrible, like, burny rubber smell. Oh, it was and we're like, oh, man. Oh, yeah, it was oh man. Oh. It was. It yeah, was and it wasn't that. I wasn't worried about the stench of it. I was worried about, like, okay, what's getting ready to go? Yeah. So we just go. We just keep going. I take it easy. You know, we, we stay to the speed limit or just under, so we're not, you know, pushing the vehicle too hard. And we decide we're going to stop in a, at an auto zone in Flagstaff so he can get the code red to make sure the car's not going to blow up for the rest of our trip, right? <laughs> oh, Dave says, all non-believers better turn three circles, toss salt over the shoulder, and knock on wood, or be yours forever. Hail Murphy. Yes. <laughs> all hail Murphy. You're starting a cult. <laughs> yes. I what? just said that. I, you did. Yeah, join I, didn't, I didn't oh, believe no. you, but now William I William says good morning. Good morning, <laughs> William. Thanks for joining us on the show. So back to the story. We're driving. We're driving into Flagstaff. We make it. Nothing has exploded. We have the stink in the car from whatever kind of burn is going on. It's a little nerve-wracking. We're worried about it because of the previous incident. We get to AutoZone. The guy checks the code. We go inside, and we look at it. And you know what it ended up being was an emission system leak. And we've had this before where the EGR failed, and then the gas cap seal failed. But all it was was a small vacuum leak, so it wasn't that big of a deal. So it's like, yeah, you know, we can drive normal, and we're going to make it. And the guy's like, well, you know, you might want to replace it. I'm like, yes, we are going to fix it at some point, but this means we're not all going to die. <laughs> so we continued on our trip, and uh, and we headed down to Cottonwood and then, uh, and then to Clarkdale, where uh, my brother lives. And uh, my dad was actually down uh, visiting, and I haven't seen him in like eight years and we yeah. got to hang out over the weekend. Awesome. Yeah, it was interesting. It was fun. Yeah. Yeah, we had a good time. So and Roxy just does not like going to that area. No, nope, definitely not. <laughs> Roxy is the name of the car for those of you that don't know. <laughs> she just does not like it. Yeah. Definitely not. Seems like it. So we had good times. We did uh, we did some star watching, um, you know, later in the evening. Had a couple catching too up. many beers, you know. Catching up? <laughs> yep, catching up a little bit. Cool. 
Yeah, so it was it was a good time. The car didn't blow up, and it made it back safely. Yeah. Now we just have to figure out exactly, and that Bernie smell was because of, you know, incomplete combustion or the vacuum leak getting into the inside of the car, and that's what the stink is. So mm. Not that big of a deal. Stinky, but... It's his feet. It's not my feet. <laughs> hey! Hey! It's not my feet. <laughs> oh, anyway. Could have been. So yeah, that was, no that was why uh, LPNN decided to go south was because I hadn't seen my dad in eight years, rough roundabouts, eight years, and uh, we finally got a chance to go down and meet my dad, and uh, we had a good time. So cool. yeah, yeah. We, we caught up a bit, uh, yeah, good stuff. Good so I'm glad to go. I am too, and we saw a lot of construction. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, northbound uh, 17 coming back is a huge section of road. That is one lane, and it's supposed to be, what was it, like 55 going through there? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're ripping up the entire interstate right there and replacing. And so the right-hand lane on the northbound side coming up, is it's just gone. They've got K-rails going all the way up, and it's just gone. And actually, that was the name of the construction I was talking oh, yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, that was, okay, it was 206. So, 206? Uh, which one is Are you talking That's about coming the, out of Cottonwood? Out of Cottonwood, yes. 17. There is tons of construction. Yeah. They've got like four roundabouts going in. They're completely redoing everything so that you've got two divided pieces of road where you've got two lanes going in each yep. direction. But right now, it just kind of crosses back and forth over each other. There's half-finished things, and it's like, ah! They're so that is definitely the slower way to go there. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> Mario's giving smiles. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a lot of construction going on, but it looks like they're doing some pretty serious expansion work yeah. down there in Cottonwood. Cool. Yeah. Oh, and we got, oh, oh, so we forgot to tell them this. So on the last day that we were there, we went to this antique shop that's down oh. in Cottonwood. <laughs> okay. And it's, I hate that road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I hate that road, Mario says. Yeah, it was a mess. We couldn't believe it. We wish we would have went the other way. So we go to this uh, to this antique shop, and on the outside, it advertises that they have two acres of antiques. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I love I love antiques. I love going out and poking at them, seeing the old stuff, trying to find out what the history is, or just seeing things that like, what the heck is that, and then figuring it out, or even not. <laughs> so so we're going through. And uh, prior to that, my dad had gone um, the day before or the day before that. He he had been there for a few days longer than we had. And he showed us a picture of something that was really creepy. He actually showed us, it had a, it had a tag on it. And uh, it was $1,500, because you can buy you know, an antique store, you can buy stuff. But what it was, was a steel surgical chair from an asylum. And it was all rusty and crusty. I mean, it looked like something right out of a horror movie. And my dad said he was walking around for probably an hour or two before that looking at stuff. But after he saw that, he's like, that's it. I'm done. And so I was like, no, no, we have to go back. We have to see this chair. So we ended up going back. And, uh, yeah, that chair was pretty creepy. So what was with the tag? Well, the tag said that it was a, in, an antique asylum oh, okay. surgical chair for $1,500. Okay. But that was like the first picture in the series. It's like you saw that and you're like, wait, are you serious? And then there was the picture of the chair and it's like, ooh. <laughs> I had just... I mean, it's an upright chair that, you know, kind of like one of these that you sit in, mm -hmm. but there's a slot in the bottom where you sit at, and then there's a cutout in the front where you sit at, and it's all, it just, oof. I mean, you could just imagine the horrors that that chair has seen or taken part in. I don't want in. to imagine Exactly. The I mean, I've seen this movie. Yeah, House on Haunted Hill. <laughs> and so right next to this asylum surgical chair are these two... Very innocent looking rocking horses with painted faces and everything. It just made it even that much more creepy. It was just, ugh. But it was worth watching and looking at and poking at, and I touched it. I did touch it. <laughs> <laughs> we need a night show. We need a night show. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. No, it's in the work. Mario says the uh, roadside gift shop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a really cool place, and downtown Cottonwood is epic. It Becca, is. you've been there. I love it. We, we saw a purse Cotton. one time. Yeah. You, you, do you have the story for the purse? Do you remember how that went? Oh, yeah, right, absolutely. Well, tell, tell them about the story of your trip to Cottonwood. You didn't get to see an asylum surgical chair. <laughs> no, I didn't. Okay, so I was in Cottonwood, uh, and I was with you, and <laughs> uh, you're walking along, and there's all these little cute shops, and they've got stuff outside on the sidewalks, and I saw this purse, 
this okay. <laughs> if purses could be soulmates, this was mine. Oh and for those of you that don't know, she kind of, kind of has like a weird purse thing. That's I do. I I do have a weird purse thing. Uh, <laughs> I was checking to see which one I had today. Um. Uh. But it was beautiful. It was it was gorgeous. It was like green and blue and brown tie dye, and the colors were just perfect, and the shape was exactly the kind I like, and it was it was freaking beautiful. But it was like thirty dollars, yep. and we didn't have the money for it, so I didn't get it. Um, and I, I, as soon as I left Cottonwood, I regretted it. And like for a year, I thought about this purse. Like it was like purse on the brain. It, it was. Man. I just I couldn't stop thinking about it and wishing that I had bought it. I really, I know it's the weirdest thing, but I just had this instant like connection. Uh, it's a soulmate purse. It was everybody like, has one of those. Everyone's got a purse soulmate. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. This was my purse. So, so a year later, uh, I actually, <laughs> literally a year later, I took a trip back to Cottonwood uh, to try and find my soulmate purse on the off chance, and I'm sure the shop owners in Cottonwood think I'm crazy. Uh, because I couldn't remember what shop it was. I couldn't remember which side of the street it was. I couldn't remember the name of the store. I couldn't remember anything except that there was a display on the sidewalk and it had a purse. <laughs> uh, did not wind up finding my soulmate purse that day. Uh, I'm still searching. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, it's out there somewhere. I will never forget this purse. It was just absolutely perfect. I can't find it online. I couldn't find it in Cottonwood. I haven't been able to find it. I think it was handmade it. by a local. I, I believe it was there. probably a local. Um, although, oh, this was really funny and, and kind of uh, heartbreaking. <laughs> uh, I ate at a restaurant uh, before before walking down the streets of Cottonwood to okay. find this purse. And we mentioned it to the waitress. And she said, oh, I had a purse just like that. I think I bought it like a year ago. But it like it, it got worn out and I threw it out like two weeks ago. <laughs> and I just, I swear <clears throat> she had my purse. <laughs> that had to be it. <laughs> oh. So let this be a lesson so, to you uh, out there. that When you see something and it makes that soul connection. Buy it. Otherwise, yeah. Get it. Otherwise, apparently you'll be miserable for quite some time. Oh, I'm not miserable. I'm far from miserable. <laughs> but my life is a little less complete. No. Just oh. a little? <laughs> Just oh. a little, very little. But oh. yeah, this purse. Yeah, I, I bet the waitress... Because it would just be, you know, such synchronicity to run into the waitress who bought my <laughs> purse. Everyone's giving you a thumbs up on that one. <laughs> Mario says that is funny. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty funny. She's got a soul purse out there somewhere. Well, I did. Yeah, well, you know, it's got to be out there somewhere. It's in a dump waiting for you uh, to find it. <laughs> I will clean it up and love it. <laughs> you may find it on You are going to hug it and squish I, it and yeah, call it your thing. Yeah, call it my purse. Yeah. yeah. It was... <laughs> So that's what I think of every time I think of Cottonwood. Is Somewhere that my bag? Over the purse. <laughs> oh Lies <my>. your sickness. <laughs> Dave says, all I can envision is her singing Somewhere in There from America Tale. <laughs> Somewhere out, out there. Somewhere out there. <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. Man. oh totally. No. I would do that. Yeah, too. look in and get the moon and you see a purse. I think we're going to have to do like a cutscene movie of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do a, a, a dramatic reenactment. There you go. There you of go. me oh falling in love with this purse. <laughs> we gotta find it first. I God. <laughs> we'll make a we'll make a real crappy like uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll do a we'll do your artist's rendition. Of yes, it. <laughs> artist rendition. It'll say artist rendition on it. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Wow. Did you happen to find my purse while you were in Cottonwood? No, you I didn't. didn't look. Look. <laughs> I found an asylum chair, though. <laughs> I, you know, I wanted to get my dad to sit in it and we get like a oh family photo around it, but he wouldn't do no. it. <laughs> He's like, uh uh-uh. uh. I was like, come on. I can't say I'm we'll bleeding. Pretend to hold you down, take a picture, it'll be fine. Yeah. No, he, Put he wouldn't that go on for a it. Christmas card. He wouldn't buy for it. But on top of that, hmm? neither you nor your brother were willing to do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My dad, he should be willing to do it. He's already yeah, to you <laughs> <laughs> or your brother. Yeah. Take you down here. This is the family photo. <laughs> yeah. So you know, we we might need to get that asylum chair and put no. it here in the in Freedom Studios. No, no? where you no. sit, maybe. Yeah, that'd be my throne. The crazy guy sits here. 
no. This no, is no, why no. you believe in Murphy because you do things like buy cursed chairs. <laughs> I didn't and know then, it's cursed. I mean, how could really? it not be cursed? Really? You got a good point. I have seen the movie, especially with the horses sitting next to it. That's some creepy stuff, man. Yeah, this is why you believe in Murphy. It's because you buy cursed items. All and then... hail Murphy! What? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then you blame yeah. it on Murphy when really it's just you 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 buy things that are okay. Well, yeah. you know you, you could have a point there. Cursed you asylum chairs. So apparently Cottonwood has a lot of adventures for us down there, along with yeah. the, the Cottonwood trees. Yeah, you know. yeah. If we can get down there, because Roxy says no. Yeah, yeah. She's like, I'm tired. I don't want to. <laughs> Excuse me, but she hasn't done that on the trips to Phoenix. Nope. On the trips to Flagstaff. Just to Cottonwood. Just to Cottonwood. Wow. Mm-hmm. When our destination is Cottonwood. Something is, that something, that it's a sign. It's it the is. asylum chair, it really <laughs> is. <laughs> it's been waiting. It's, it's been, been waiting for you. Oh, That's no. creepy. Yes. Calling to I me. swear, <laughs> you're going to wake up tomorrow and that asylum chair is going to be like in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have no idea. In fact, I kind of want to go to Cottonwood today and buy it and put it in your living room. <laughs> hey, man, if buy you got $1,500 laying thing. around to go buy a prank gift, we got some other things you could help purchase for around the office. I can't even buy a $30 purse. <laughs> well, that was a year ago. <laughs> that was a couple years ago. A couple years ago. <laughs> Says, that purse may have been cursed too, and a higher power was looking out. I like that. I yeah. like that outlook. There you yeah, go. See? yeah. It's a good thing I didn't get that purse. There you go. My life would be way different now. See, it's not just the chair. It's not just the purse. Maybe cotton maybe wood. cottonwood is maybe cursed. cottonwood is cursed. Maybe, yeah. Or at least just for us, anyway. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, it is an interesting little town. I like. They it. do have do all love the, it. a lot of old mines and stuff around. Yeah, like Jerome's down there. Oh. That's a place I've always wanted to visit. When I was really, really little, I, I was in Jerome. But I don't remember it. So yeah. my dad was born and raised in Arizona. So he, he's like a desert rat and goes out and do, used to do all kinds of stuff. And so most of that stuff was before I could remember it uh, in the in the permanent records. Not that those really stick around. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh no! Oh man! Yeah. That, so that was the it's Cottonwood funny. adventure. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah, it was yeah. interesting. <laughs> Dave says, what if the higher power preventing me from uh, getting the purse was Murphy? You know, I was going to say that, but these unbelievers, <laughs> blasphemers, blasphemers! I'm a non-believer in Murphy, <clears throat> but that's hilarious. Oh, hail Murphy, what? <laughs> uh, I don't yeah. hail Murphy. No, I that's know Murphy great. Exists, so, no. so if Murphy prevented me from having the purse, then I really should have gotten the purse. Well, maybe that's what you think, but you never know what could happen. I don't know, man. It's like one of those butterfly effect things. And if I would have gotten a purse, I know. <laughs> like, everything would be totally different now. My life would be miserable, in shambles, a mess. It could be. It could be. Or you could be a billionaire by now. Who knows? You know what? I prefer the other reality. <laughs> I prefer to think the world would be worse if I had the purse. No, okay. That's just because you didn't get it. So I know. know. <laughs> Murphy. Yes. I keep seeing your earrings. Oh, oh you yeah. did what I, what I said earlier. Oh, yeah. what? We keep forgetting Becca. So for those of you that don't know, Becca has an eclectic collection of random earrings and she has them in tackle boxes because there's so many she can't keep track of. She recently had to buy another tackle box to put them all in there. It's, it, it's crazy. But a lot of them are really interesting. What are you wearing for earrings today? So today... <laughs> Oh, we're doing like the whole net shopping that we're doing like oh, for a limited time only. You can buy Becca with the earrings. You can't buy Becca. Whoa! I we're mean, crossing, uh, we're crossing wow. into new territory. Hey, this is Freedom Studios. Everything's for sale. It's a blowout sale. You're next. Wow! I not. Even, I can't even touch that. I can't. Even. We'll start the bidding. No. One dollar. <laughs> Ow! I don't want more than one dollar. Of course you are. That's why you got a bid. They'll knock it up real fast. <laughs> Today I'm wearing tomato earrings. Tomatoes. <laughs> they are oh, tomatoes. No. I did take a picture of them. Uh, oh, good. So if you want, I don't know if Where it's do you still open. It? Is it still open down there? I don't know. Which is the... I didn't close anything. Where did you put it? All right, here. Uh, here, click on the address bar real quick. All right, there you go. There you go. Mario says Mario's giving his bid for five dollars. Yeah, five, see, five, five dollars, Mario. You can do better. We'll do it as like a slow auction. You know, we won't be like. Hey, look, I'm up to ten. 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 
Yeah. 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 Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> oh my. Oh All right, so goodness. what is it? Oh, you're, you're trying hilarious. to pull up your picture here? Yeah, I'm trying to show you my tomato earrings. <clears throat> Because I actually uh, did take a picture of them. Oh, we got 20. We got $20. Oh, nice. $20. <laughs> all right, all right. Oh, my. Now we're starting to get a little better here. All right, let's see if I can pull this up <laughs> for you. You know, I can almost afford that purse with $20. Hey, almost. <laughs> almost. All right, so this is um, this is Becca's earrings. Here's one of them, anyway. Uh, let's see. Where's the button? Where's the button? I'm trying to make it bigger. <laughs> We can do this. La 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 la. la. You in guys case you wonder, uh, yeah. In case you wonder, like this today. is Becca's earrings. These today. These are these. It's Murphy are Monday. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what she's wearing right there. On my ears. We got a twenty. Can we get a thirty? <laughs> 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 Our heads are. In the, yeah, I'm not yeah. tall enough to do this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, even your head's way down here. You're like, I'm so short. Why am I? <laughs> well, you are short. <laughs> I am not short. <laughs> so that's uh, that's Becca's earrings today. Some tomatoes. Tomatoes. We got miters, or is it tomato? Mater Monday. Do we have a tomato? <laughs> Mater Monday. <laughs> oh, no. Mater Monday, y'all. <laughs> you know, talk her that way. It, it goes, oh. you, now you're bringing me back to the trip. <laughs> So I haven't seen my dad in eight years, right? Yeah. And so we get there. Everybody gives hugs. It's like, oh, hey, how's it going? And then we all sit down, and we're just kind of looking. My brother goes, mm-hmm. And I said, you know, this reminds me of an episode of King of the Hill. Right at the beginning where you got Boomhauer and you got Dale and all them. You're just standing there drinking beer and going, mm-hmm, yep, mm-hmm. And I have boom out my throat. Wow. Yeah, so it, it was. It was seriously like an episode of King of the Hill. That's funny. Yeah, it was kind of awkward for a while, but then we kind of tried to break the ice a little here, a little there, yeah. you know. It's hard to know where to start after eight years of, of not seeing each other, you yeah. know. It's I like, mean, we talk on the phone from time yeah, to time. Yeah, right, right, right. And through Facebook. and Yeah, of course, know. of course. Yeah, so. The advent of modern technology makes it so you're not really that far apart. But yeah. It was kind of strange. Yeah. It was, yeah. It, was a little, it was a little odd, but it ended up picking up by the end. And yeah. All that, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah. Got to get <clears> into the groove. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was just odd. Yeah. That's yes. all. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, uh, that was Becca's earrings. Yes. They, yeah. they were very lovely. We're still only at twenty dollars, even with. I, I just, you know, <laughs> this is going to be a good segue, actually, for what I have to talk about oh, today. No. All right, well, we have to do that. Oh, and don't forget, we're still voting on Rupert. Yes, we, we need are. to take pictures of the Rupert. Yes, we do. So I people forgot don't have to watch the whole. Yeah, because I was yeah. going down south. I right. forgot. I packed up the camera. Forgot to take Rupert pictures. Yeah. But, so <laughs> Mario says I hate tomatoes. Do you know what's so funny? <laughs> I don't like tomatoes either. <laughs> But she's wearing. You know what you need? I don't. You got tomatoes. Then you, if you, I'm sure you have them somewhere, you need to get bacon and put it I on there, and then slices of bread. You have like three pairs of earrings. BLGs. So like, I have BLG one. earrings. <laughs> That's hilarious. I do have bacon and bread earrings. See, there I you go. Have lettuce. So you just I have to put have them lettuce. all on at the same time, and you'll be set. So that's your next mission: find some lettuce find earrings. Some lettuce earrings. Don't get the romaine though. If I hear that, <laughs> that's uh, bad for you. <laughs> How about the CDC says it's okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. CDC says it's all right again. Oh man. <laughs> Yeah, All right, so you said we're trying to segue here. Yeah. I apologize. I keep dragging this back down. <laughs> but real quickly, I don't like tomatoes either unless they're uh, fried green tomatoes. Fried green tomatoes. Those oh are, my God, I love fried green, green tomatoes. They're so good. Oh. So yummy. You know, I don't think I've ever actually tried them, but it sounds See, horrible. Oh, no, they're, they're, they're amazing. amazing. Oh. It just they're sounds like, horrible. Oh, you awesome. can't get them here. No. no. And I don't it's like a southern thing, and they're it, they're on the wrong side oh, of the Mississippi for you. It is. Yeah. So I don't Anything like, east of the Mississippi is bad. Hey. What? I was born in the east of the Mississippi. Yeah, but then you moved over here, so you're fine. <laughs> My family lives east of the Mississippi. I'm sorry. They suck. <laughs> they don't yeah. exist anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway. Hey, you got twin well, husband. <laughs> avoid it he will stay west of the mississippi yes and east of california stan <laughs> don't like california stan <laughs> the I united mean, socialist republic of california how many if you times prefer. have you been there what california uh-huh. a lot <laughs> I, I went to boot camp i was stationed there for a little while when i was a kid we had to visit there and you know what every time i crossed that border <laughs> 
And and you were also stationed east of the Mississippi. I was, and I hated it. <laughs> I hated it. It was terrible. I mean, okay, so Virginia and places. West Virginia was beautiful. D.C. was cool because you get to visit the Smithsonian and see all the national onions, but living there? No. Mm. Nope, those people are nuts. <laughs> Uh oh, I think I broke Lois. You just like you just insulted over half of the country. Like, you did. Everyone east of the Mississippi sucks. Everyone in California sucks. You're like you. you I, our, I, viewer, I, our viewership just went down to like two. I mean, so like, <laughs> well, come on, man. I mean, I, I, I'm good at this sort of. You thing. You think out of yeah, no. all the people east of the Mississippi, there's not one that doesn't suck. I don't think it's the people. Well, yeah, probably not. <laughs> it, it, it's the politics. But that's for another there show. Yeah, yeah, it's too early for politics. Yeah, too early yeah. for politics. Yeah. I need more coffee. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we need a different show. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I've been mentioning that for a week. I know. I you, know. Have. you have. So we got to take pictures of Rupert so we yes, can vote on yes. Rupert. Yes. Right. That's yeah, a big good. deal. Because you made a Rupert, you made a Rupert, I made a Rupert, and they they have to pick exactly which one yes. is the best. Until Friday is when we're We're doing it until Friday? Yeah. All right, so make sure you guys vote on Rupert. We have the post pinned if you're on your computer. You can go check it out, and uh, at the top there, we have a poll. You just pick one, two, or three, and uh, pick mine. Uh, and, uh, you know, and, uh, no, no, no. We're selling you off anyway, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> You be quiet. You're next. <laughs> wow. Really? What? Wow. What? No, we, we need, you know. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> no. I'm getting we'll the sell, eyes, man. We'll, we'll sell you off. Uh, he needs money to buy his asylum chair. I do. <laughs> Which means he needs to be sold off. <laughs> he wants it. He needs yeah. to sell himself. Yeah. <laughs> All right, who wants to start the bidding at 50 cents? I'm going to run out of <laughs> I love that I started at a dollar and you start at fifty cents. You have slightly more, uh, you know, value than I do in this in this uh, endeavor here. I'm not even touching that. You come with tomato earrings. I do. do I got you? I got a crappy attitude and I hate everything and everybody. So I got to start a little lower. We got to lower the you expectations. Got tomato so. earrings included. Oh, oh man. Oh, what for him? Uh, no, no, for me. No, you don't get my tomato earrings. No. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Okay, okay. We right, need so to, we were transitioning. <laughs> yes. no. Hail Murphy. No. We were we were on a we were on a path. We were <laughs> about talking about how much things cost. And I found on the internet today uh, an ice cream cone that you can buy in London that costs a hundred and thirty dollars. A hundred and thirty dollar ice cream cone? A hundred and thirty dollar ice cream cone. Is it I, dipped in I, gold? I, there is gold involved. Oh, does it have like oh. the gold flick stuff? Yes. In it? I, yes. Uh, so I, I, Whoop. sorry, it's okay. I need the, I need the mouse. So, we, so do this, we need a transition? I think that would be cool if we could show a picture of right. the ice cream cone. But I also need no. to then, um, then scroll so I can read about All it. All right. Hold well, well, you, yeah, but you can't. I mean, you'll scroll. It's I know. Still be I know. Still. I guess I should fix our heads over here. Yeah, that would so be we'll, nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'd say, oh, there we go. Ice cream cone. So this ice fancy, swanky ice cream cone. It's called the Billionaire Soft Serve. Billionaire? Uh, billionaire. <laughs> Do they melt down billionaires? <laughs> no, only billionaires can afford it. Oh, <laughs> okay. They got like Bezos flavor. They got like musk scented. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sorry. For those of you that don't know. Oh. Musk is a billionaire. Obviously, so. yeah. yeah but they, Elon Musk, he's the guy that does Tesla vehicles right, right, and electric right, right, right. and the knows. rocket program. Not everybody knows. And Bezos is, or Bezos, depending on how you pronounce it, is it Bezos? It's Bezos. Bezos. He's the guy that uh, founded and owns Amazon. So and he's currently could, trying to take over the world. So he could afford this ice cream cone. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> this billionaire soft serve for a There is your billionaire soft serve, right? It's all here. $133. $133 for this ice cream cone. Is that, now, is that, um, That's has that, that been transferred over to uh, U.S. dollars? Yeah, or, yes. Okay. In in London, uh, it's it's ninety nine pounds. I think okay. Is 99, okay, so 99, the exchange rate, right? Or what? Is it pounds yes. they use? 
Okay. Pounds so, sterling is what they call it. Yes. Them. So, oh so the the uh, the actual the founder of the place that serves this it's uh, it's from Snowflake Luxury Gelato. Wait a minute, Snowflake. Snowflake. Oh. But but <laughs> if you're talking gelato or ice cream, that makes Snowflake sense. Snowflake makes sense. Right. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you guys, I, I, will, I don't know. I don't know that I want to be on this other show, but Snowflake so I don't think I do. What? Uh, no. <laughs> the after hours. Show. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be in an after hours. All right, so hundred and thirty dollar <laughs> ice cream. Focus, ladies. Focus. <laughs> hey, we got another twenty dollar. <laughs> oh. Hail Murphy. No. Okay, so. This is keep digging. Keep, keep digging what? Really? You are you oh, are you man. are digging. Oh. I'm gonna throw the asylum chair in the hole under my head. And, <laughs> and the purse. Fine, I'm gonna sit over here and mind out nobody loves me. I'm gonna go eat worse. Oh, gummy worms. To- gummy worms so bad. Okay, ice cream. We're talking yes. about ice cream. Alright, ice cream. Yes. Okay. So uh this billionaire soft serve swanky cone. Costs $133 in American money. Uh, and the idea was to make the most exquisite dessert experience anyone could have. Uh, it takes four hours of preparation. What? Four hours to make one wow. of these desserts. <coughs> uh, which is uh, possibly part of the It doesn't price even point. take that to make homemade ice cream. It doesn't take that long. No, but here's... I'm gonna even I'm if gonna, you're milking the cow yourself. I don't think that. I'm long. scrolling now. Here's a uh, each cone is dipped in a rare dark chocolate that is sourced from a single estate farm and bedazzled with edible gold pearls. Bedazzled, you say? Edible gold pearls Ugh. on this on this ice Wait, cream. Wait, are they from clams? I I <laughs> highly doubt it. <laughs> I uh, mean, oysters. We already then, settled that uh-huh. one, I suppose. Then he begins by filling the cone with caramelized pecans. Uh, ne- or she, I'm so sorry, the gelato chef is a, is a she. Gelato. Uh, gelato. Gelato. Is that like a razor that you can yeah. say? <laughs> get the ice cream and you just rub it on your face and it takes off the hair. It's like nair, but it's cold. This is amazing. No? Gelato, gelato. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> Oh my god. Sorry, you started. I did. <laughs> oh, gelato chef. Female Sylvia is her is her name. All right, uh, all right. Okay, so she starts with the caramelized pecans. She adds a layer of salted caramel gelato seasoned with a rare Persian blue sea salt. Okay. Uh, then she adds two spheres of sorbet. One that is a combination of mango, passion fruit, and ginger. Yeah. Okay. Another yeah. that's just dark chocolate. And then a second layer of the salted caramel gelato. Okay. Uh, and then the finishing <clears throat> touches include a homemade raspberry macaron topped with edible diamonds made of sugar, uh, a white chocolate truffle filled with chocolate caramel or salted caramel sauce, a piece of chocolate flake hand wrapped in edible 24 karat gold leaf, a piece of white chocolate that bears the snowflake luxury gelato logo, a spoon made from the same rare dark chocolate, and lastly, a drizzling of special fruit sauce. I still don't see the f- the four hour process here. I mean, that's Unless you know for a good one... person. You know, we're talking like twenty minutes, maybe. Unless if that. Unless each one, all the ingredients are made specifically. Yeah, you probably for have to each one. Yeah, make. All right, okay, I'll, I'm, I'll give you that. All right. I'm guessing they don't have like a big industrial sized bucket of gold pearls that they put on. You yeah, know, like they probably, probably make right. each. Uh, each element right before they use it. So I just had the vision of you getting ready to eat this amazing ice cream cone, and then just like every time in, in funny TV shows, it goes oh, no. plop and falls oh, on the ground. No. Oh, no. That was $130 right there. No wonder Murphy Wow. Hey, right? Murphy. <laughs> Man. Yeah, so, uh, and, and then the, the piece de resistance, uh, two full sheets of edible 24 karat gold leaf. Nice. So uh, the the whole thing just uh, it's I'm going I back see the to the confusion. Yes, gold is edible in no, small that, amounts. No, oh. <laughs> she knows. You, Ow. you do not give her enough credit. <laughs> my, my question is, why would somebody want to eat gold? Uh, that's yeah, that's a because good it question. makes you feel fancy. Because it costs one hundred and thirty three dollars. Yeah. I'm just I. It's a metal. I don't care whether it's edible or not. It's 
a metal. Well, some people actually believe that like gold and then like uh, what is it, colloidal silver? Actually, um, they have antibacterial properties. They can make you feel better. They're good for your immune system and you know things of that nature. Kind of like we were talking about, uh, or what was it last week? We were talking about how copper and silver have yes. antibacterial properties. It's a similar thing, except to eat it, and it's really expensive. Uh, yeah. I saw somebody eating one of those one time on this show that I watch. <clears throat> gold? Yeah, gold flake. It was it was actually wrapped around. I don't even remember what kind doesn't of food it was. Doesn't even taste good. It doesn't have a flavor really. <clears throat> but when he was because so it's, it's like so tofu. thin. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's it's just flake. I mean, you eat it and it's kind of glittery, and then it does it does come out the other end, and things are kind of sparkly. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll go with that. Well, but I can... he had he had flakes <laughs> of gold in his beard and on his teeth that was like crusted on after eating this stuff. It was hilarious. <laughs> That sounds horrifying. Right. Uh, speaking about you'll like, be flushing gold, yeah. <laughs> you'll be flushing gold. Exactly. It just kind of passes flushing through. gold down the toilet. Yeah. Wow. Well, isn't that amazing? It's like, wait, what? No, yeah, no. <laughs> but I, can't I could imagine. see. I, could I guess s- you could, like, sift it and, like. Oh. No! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> no. Nope. Oh, okay. Well, you did. Oh, you did go yeah, there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, went, you went there. Hail Murphy. No. Yeah. Hail Murphy. You like catapulted beyond. You, yeah. Oh, yeah. You did that one. All right. <laughs> um, I just, I, I, I mean, I could see that being a trend with everything trying to be sparkly and happy and da 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 da. What an but, expensive trend. Yeah. No. Yeah, well, I guess, you know, you did say it was billionaires, for, so for them, for I mean, that's less than pocket change, so. Yeah, $133 to a billionaire hey, is, like, is, like, nothing. Whatever. Right, yeah. I just, I, I could not see eating the gold. I, everything else sounds really tasty. It does sound really just, good. Just the gold. I, it's just I, because I, of the sheer extravagance of it. Like I said, there's not any real flavor. It's not going to hurt you. Not really. I mean, it's I'm neutral. Just, well, I'm so. looking at the sheets. You can see the sheets of the gold leaf. I don't know if I can see my mouse over here, but you can no. you can see the sheets of the gold leaf above and below the snowflake label. Mm-hmm. It looks like it would feel like eating cellophane. It's not because it's so soft and it's metal. It just kind of co- comes apart and... It, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. Really? It's that thin. It is really, really thin. I mean, we're talking the gold gold, gold leaf you can buy, and it's, because it's so thin, it's not really that valuable. I mean, yes, it's gold, but it's 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 almost like electroplating. It's so thin. Yeah. It's, you know, it's not there. You know, there's not a lot of stuff going on there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I so. just... <clears throat> oh, man. <laughs> I had a thought just crossed my mind. Oh, I know. Oh, boy. What, I, you got you to gotta share. Okay, so people are eating... Very thin sheets of gold. Mm-hmm. But kids are being told not to eat sheets of paint. <laughs> or like dirt. Like, <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> don't, eat, don't eat dirt, right. but, but here's, here's our gold. gold. <laughs> here's metal. Eat metal instead. I mean, <laughs> well, it depends on the price of the paint, I guess. <laughs> Paint's not as expensive as gold. It's so expensive, might as well eat it. I, I just, that's so dumb. I, I, hey, I'm not disagreeing with him. I'm just saying, what? Gina I don't have the same thought of you with the sifting. Think, Gina says, Chris, I was thinking, that. see? <laughs> see, sifting that is. Yeah. No. Chris. Yeah. Chris. Oh, Chris. No. Just make sure you don't eat corn at the same time. You have oh! <laughs> Gina's god. on my track with me over here. She knows what I'm talking about. Uh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. See, going back to the whole paint thing, I realized at one point paint had lead in it. Yes. Yeah. You know, and so just general exposure had issues and, yeah. and whatnot. Mm-hmm. But now paint does not have lead in it. Nope. But that doesn't mean and, it's edible. Right. No, no. But that doesn't mean gold is either. I mean, that's true. Well, well, it's like like I said, gold metal. Is, yeah, but it's neutral. It doesn't hurt you. So. I'm just, it just. I don't think it's neutral. It doesn't hurt you. Is a good enough reason to eat something? Has, okay, has, <laughs> that's has just anyone, how I feel. Has anyone done studies on this? Mm. Yeah, I don't think there's been what enough if, gold consumption to really do the studies long term, term, <laughs> thank Yeah, you. what if the long term effects, effects of, of consuming gold are like super harmful? Right. And in a thousand years, archaeologists are going to dig up people with, like, gold-coated bones and think that... <laughs> oh, no, there's a trend now. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get my bones tattooed with gold. Yeah. Oh, just, ah. Yeah. Ah. No, okay. No, wouldn't hurt so, oh, I, I, hate yeah. to, I hate to spoil the morning show's funness, but, you know, there are funness studies do done on gold. Gold is very non-reactive to almost everything. It is the most non-reactive metal that exists, 
And when they, I mean, you can do all, they have done tons of chemical tests and all kinds of other, it just, it's non-reactive, it's inert, and it doesn't bind or combine with almost anything else. And that's almost. why it's, well, yeah, but the stuff that it does do it with, any new. <laughs> <laughs> as far as if it was, you'd be dead and have bigger problems anyway, so, <laughs> just saying. I'm yeah, just I saying, don't know, I just, yeah, no. And, and you've got people out there who have gold allergies. Yes. And they don't realize it. Mm -hmm. Imagine, I, really. I wonder if uh, you could like, go into anaphylactic yes. shock. Absolutely. If you're allergic to it, it can wow. happen. But only it's, if it's severe enough, if your right, allergy is. Most people, it just, you know, like irritates their irritating. skin or something like that. So you'd probably get a little upset, Tommy, a little this. But it'd be fun to experiment with it and see what happens. Like being I have a chair that would be perfect. No! <laughs> what? <laughs> no. what? <laughs> no, you don't have a chair. You yeah, know no. where a chair is. I know where a chair is. Is this chair going to be your purse? Like this cottonwood? Yeah. I, I, know have, what, probably. I have a cottonwood it purse is. that I longed for. You're going to just never stop thinking about this chair. This asylum chair. You know what? I, honestly, that thing, it, it is really creepy. I probably would not want it and actually put it somewhere. It, you know, as, as a funny joke, sure, but actually having something like that sitting around, that's some bad vibes right that, there. Yeah, man. that's bad juju. You don't want to bring that yeah, in no, So it's not my cottonwood purse, but it is like, whoa, that's, I mean, it is something definitely to go look at and yeah. maybe touch, but don't bring it home. Maybe touch. <laughs> oh, look, yes. but don't touch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You yeah. bring those cooties home. A couple of jokes came to my head that we can't really bring up on the No. <laughs> Don't do I it. You don't want to take that See, home with you. <laughs> See, we need another show. Okay, so we're talking please, allergies. Please talk. We're talking allergies. <laughs> we broke mega. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> ow! You gotta stop doing that. Seriously. <laughs> ow! She's over here knees. pinching me. We don't. No, no knees. pinching. Knees. No, no pinching. Yes. No okay. So last we are week, still on this, you were you were talking about your allergies. Yes. With. Things. I don't remember. I don't remember what happened yesterday. Okay, with tumbleweed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Was, okay, all right. Now, the wood allergy, the tumbleweed. I forgot we had talked about that last week. We did. I don't remember what I did we yesterday. Did. I think we were yes. driving. You <coughs> were. We a lot do of driving. remember what we did yesterday. Oh, yeah, there was a lot of driving involved. Yeah. There was. Mm -hmm. And we had breakfast with your family. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah that was fun. You know. mm -hmm. and, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's slept since then. Yeah. Right. yeah. And, and then, then everything goes, flushing it away. Pretty much. Pretty so much. So we are still on that one. <laughs> are you trying to pull something up on purpose? Yes. Okay. I am. All right. What do you got? What do you got? <laughs> what is this? This is. <laughs> what do you got? In Victorville, California, mm -hmm. <laughs> there is a neighborhood that has been completely overrun by tumbleweed. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. These are pictures. Oh, wow. That's a lot of tumbleweed. <laughs> yes. And I was thinking, you know, we're in the desert. We. we Get tumbleweed. Yeah, I mean yeah, tumbleweed but, is a and there, there is actually normal. a section over by the new um, by the new hotel. What is it? The Hyatt place over here. Yes. Because of that huge open field, certain times of year when the wind blows, all those tumbleweeds end up against the houses before the Hyatt was there, and and there was a big mess. So you're saying now they're going to end up against the Hyatt? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I they get to clean them up. I bet the people in that apartment complex are really grateful. Not the apartment complex. The oh, houses the across the street. Oh, yeah, yeah. across North Navajo. Yeah. Well, that's mm -hmm. nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. They don't that's have to cool. worry about their front yard right, anymore. Right, now the Hyatt right. can deal with it. However, this neighborhood <laughs> in Victorville... Needs to worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> they have. They have been completely overrun by tumbleweed. Wow. And I saw this, and I was thinking, oh, you having to clean that up oh, on your no. property. <laughs> it's 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 you would have to be in a it's mop it's four it's suit. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. I mean, seriously. That's no good. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah, I'd have to be injecting Benadryl straight into my, my, my yeah. system, man. Just but <laughs> then you fall... <sighs> You you would fall flat on your face asleep in the middle of this. Probably, but I would <laughs> I'd be okay because I'd be Benadryl'd up. <laughs> and then when you wake up, it'd be a like, horrible. You would be like one big walking hive. Like, yep. Yes. <laughs> but I. And this is how the zombie apocalypse starts. <laughs> <laughs> by Benadryl. <laughs> this zombie apocalypse brought to you by Benadryl. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. It is too early on a Monday. Oh, for that. that was good. So you know, I, I, when I, um, my house down south, mm -hmm. I, it, I swear to goodness, none of my neighbors down south had tumbleweeds. Okay, they were all in my backyard. <laughs> well, it just means I, you're lazy. You should be out there picking them, right? No, no. <laughs> I, no. When when I bought the house, 
the backyard was nice and clear. Okay. Okay. Looked like everybody else's. They cleared it out before they did. The house. <laughs> They're like, hey, we're they never totally going to sell did. this place. They did. <laughs> if it's full and of tumbleweeds. Two months later, they started popping up. Oh no! And I ended up with a tumbleweed farm for a backyard. Oh no! <laughs> tumbling, and, tumbling. and some of these pictures actually look, look like, like your backyard. What my backyard looks like. Are you like. sure they're not? I am yeah, positive. <laughs> <laughs> Gina brought up a good, a good. Some people used to sell tumbleweeds. To, to people, in other, to countries? people in other countries because it's so foreign to them. They've never and it's. Wow. And how would you package that very carefully? Are you just I saying like I mean because they're they're very brittle. They poke. They are, but people don't know that. And and before I moved here, I had never seen a tumbleweed in person. But it's in so many movies of like the yeah, you know just... the old west towns mm-hmm. where the tumbleweeds rolling across mm-hmm. the street. Mm-hmm. And it's such uh, it's almost an icon uh, of the west. It is when yeah, you definitely. think of the west. Tumbleweed, tumbleweed, tumbleweed. tumbleweed. There's even a song, the Tumbling Tumbleweed. Is one of the first images that comes to your mind, and so the people, cactus. people, yes, and the saguaro cactuses, tumbleweeds, roadrunners, uh, all these things, uh, and so people who have never experienced them have no idea what a big giant ball of razor wire they are. Uh, they are. They have itchy misery. And so, so yeah, there are people who uh, used to sell, I don't know if they still do, but Probably. I remember, I remember Gina's right, I remember seeing that online. Wow. People were like selling tumbleweeds That's and so shipping weird. them overseas to people wow. who had never been to the West. Wow. That reminds me of that story you were telling us about a while back and I remember you posting it online about the giant tumbleweed that was like as high as the hood of your car. Yes. <laughs> yes. Where was I? I can't remember. I was driving. I think I was driving to Vegas oh. or maybe to go to the airport. I think that's what it was. Oh, okay. There was a windstorm uh, and there were giant tumbleweeds coming across the road. And the okay, so in the movies, they like lazily roll along. <laughs> not in a no, windstorm, they don't. <laughs> that is not how that happens. It usually is, but in a windstorm. Yeah. I'm from Indiana and we have deer that like jump out in front of your car or run across the street. <laughs> These were like five times faster than a deer. Okay, and so these these huge tumbleweeds are just zipping across the road. I accidentally rammed into one that was as tall as the hood of my car. Yeah, and she thought she was exaggerating when she said it. I thought I was exaggerating. It was like this big. I thought maybe, you know, it was so fast, it's dark, maybe I didn't see it. And then I stop at a gas station, and the grill of my car is pretty high up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and there's literally tumbleweeds sticking out of it. Out of it. So it actually was, so it was that really tall. It really was that tall. That's funny. I'm that I'm just, like, crazy. shocked I didn't pop a tire or something. Uh-huh. Not a tumbleweed. Uh, maybe if there's, like, seven of them. Nah. I hit so many of them. Ah, you'll be fine. Yeah, tumbleweeds ain't taking your tire out. That's you're, good. You're good. That's to, good. You're good to go. But, yeah, it was... It was <clears throat> Uh, one of the scariest driving conditions I've ever driven in. Yes, yeah, I can I've imagine. driven in blizzards, you know, super crazy rain. You had a tumbleweed sorts. storm. The tumbleweeds were the scariest. Yeah, well, they do. They are kind of intimidating, especially when they're that big and moving that fast. When, when you know, mm-hmm. I when I stopped at the gas station, I like borrowed a glove to from, get the atten- <laughs> from the attendant. They had a glove that they let me borrow, so I could yeah. pull the tumbleweed out of my grill of that my is vehicle. Crazy. One thing, I grew up in California. Okay, and I knew about tumbleweeds and had seen them before moving out here to the desert. Uh And one thing my dad would do, because we were in an area that didn't get snow, Uh he would take tumbleweeds and pile them up, biggest to smallest, and spray paint them white. (laughs) (laughs) Tumbleweed... Snowman. Snowman. That is like the most menacing snowman. But the way he Don't did it. it! No, the way he did it, they were awesome. And and they look like snowmen. I'll have to find a picture and bring it in. I oh, see, man. yeah. Dave had a really great comment. Uh, what a great real life video game, the Tumbleweeds. <laughs> Trying to test my GTA skills. That'd be great, uh, man. Oh, oh, yeah. That's yeah. a Tumbleweed. <laughs> It was terrifying. <laughs> they just zipped across the road so fast that they, if if you were in the path of one, there was literally nothing you could do. Oh, I, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. You're, hosed. you're hitting yeah. it. It doesn't yeah. matter. Much. You're hitting that tumbleweed. Yeah. All right, yeah. so I'm looking at the time here, and unfortunately, we're going to have to start wrapping it up. But we want to remind everybody out there, don't forget we have the Rupert contest going on, so make sure you check out and fill out the poll. Hey, no. <laughs> pick mine. Pick mine. Yeah, okay, so we, we do have a Rupert contest going on. 
Make sure you guys uh, go out and vote. Don't forget to like, comment, and share on the videos if you guys enjoyed it. And uh, we'll probably see you a little bit later today. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Yeah. You guys Thank have you. any final words you want to put out there? Oh, oh my gosh. You actually did this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Wow. Made them speechless. <laughs> rendered us speechless. And now let's have some Rupert. All right. Yes. Let's have some Rupert. Yes. Yay.